Betty, mm -hmm. your relaxed eyes animated by bush eyebrows and drive many crazy for their uniqueness. It is as if God was listening to music of angels while creating them. Can you imagine? Yo, what am I going to people? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching us from. This is Copper Boy Kenya, of course. Welcome back to Copper Boy Show. I go by the name Copper Boy, of course. In case you're new here, consider subscribing and also turn on the notification bell to be notified once. I upload a video to the returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Keep on supporting, keep on uh, subscribing, keep on sharing, keep on viewing the videos, manze, and uh, I appreciate a lot. Right now, what wangu and Nico many of learning na one of the best poet. <laughs> best, say it. Best? No, <laughs> I'm not the best poet. <laughs> I'm not. I always tell people <laughs> that. I'm not the best rhymer in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm the only rhymer in the world. What do you mean by that? If you say I'm the best, uh -huh. that means the other people are doing what you do. Then you are the best of them. Okay. But if when you say well, you are only one, uh -huh. that means you have no competitor. So you I are... have no competitor in rhyming in the whole world. So you believe in yourself? I'm telling you. First of all, can you introduce yourself? Your so name is... My name is Mr. Raima. Uh -huh. I'm a humble guy with a proud ambition. Mm -hmm. I come from a beautiful country called Dugwanda. Mm -hmm. I'm here in Kenya mm -hmm. and I'm with this guy. Mm -hmm. He's going to help me in something that I've been Hello. trying mm -hmm. and now that I've got him, it's going to be through. So let me ask you a simple mm -hmm. question that mm -hmm. uh, maybe before coming to Kenya, mm -hmm. what, what were you doing in uh, Rwanda? In, in my country I was also a comedian, I was mm -hmm. doing comedy, I was doing poetry, mm -hmm. I even started my YouTube channel, I posted, posted, then I had an idea of coming to Kenya. Mm -hmm. When I came to Kenya, you know, as, as someone who is an artist, mm -hmm. you must know TVs, you must know celebrities First of, of all, every what, country. What exactly make you to come to Kenya? I came to Kenya to find one woman called this one, Betty Charo. Uh -huh, Betty Charo. I saw her on social media when I was in my country. Uh -huh. Then I decided to come for her here. So when I reached her, she's a celebrity. Uh -huh. It could not be easy to get her. Uh -huh. So that's why I called someone like you, uh -huh. because you are media. You are media person. Uh -huh. media person. And I know that you can push that work or whatever I have to her. Uh -huh. Because for me, I cannot move around the street quarreling, hey, hey, bet charo, bet charo. But when I have an interview with you, uh -huh. and I know it can reach her. So, first of all, you want to mean that uh, you come from Rwanda to Kenya just because of bet this charo? Bet charo. Can you tell us at least you. one thing you found? It's and not common, the, or rather the, the unique The red is very beautiful, beautiful because mm -hmm. her body is so sweet, <laughs> sex, smooth, <laughs> soft, <laughs> striking, stunning, mm -hmm. tender, and delicate like a fruit in a virgin soil. <laughs> Do you understand? I understand. Hey, her <laughs> eyes, let me describe her eyes. Let me tell her, Betty. Mm -hmm. You are relaxed and the eyes animated by bush eyebrows and drive many crazy for their uniqueness. It is as if God was listening to music of angels while creating them. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Where did, where did you get this all kind this of... Was, I, 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 you see, for me, uh -huh. I do have a fertile imagination in a creative mind. Uh -huh. So this is why I get all of those. This is why I even go to these words that I'm going uh -huh. to recite to Beth Charo. Uh -huh. Yes. Can you for me, for me, I'm not like you, most of men, including you. Uh -huh. You go in front of a woman and say, I love you. Uh -huh. I need you. <laughs> I want you. No. For me, I use rhymes to convince a lady. To for catch example, her. To catch her. Uh -huh. For example, look this one. I love you to be loved and inspire. Uh -huh. I do deeply love you. Uh -huh. This for Betty, of course. Uh -huh. Let me start. Uh -huh. Baby Betty, uh -huh. I love you to be loved and inspire. Uh -huh. I do deeply love you. Uh -huh. You don't need to inquire. Holding and kissing you does entire. Hear not any gossip or satire. Please give me your entire body as my empire. You are, my soul needs you, even if it's for hire. Please tell me what loving me does require. You and only is what I do admire. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that my body, well, ne my soul needs you? Uh -huh. Even if it's for her, imagine telling a lady like that. 
actually she will definitely definitely so that's why now that i've met you now that you are going to post this work and then people will share i know this lady is going to get me and she calls me and when she calls me you will know no let me just uh, know this from you mm -hmm. like uh, what exactly is this unique thing mm -hmm. that you normally uh, need from a lady you need love you need her to love like for me i love any print and pruro <laughs> and they want her to love me in print and pruro too in loving someone in print and pruro means love someone forever and always <laughs> do you know that there's someone who can love you forever but not always or always but not forever mm -hmm. but for me it's all forever and always that means in plenty and plural betty how can you define love in simple terms love always can be like life mm -hmm. or can be like obsession then v can be like vow then e can be like Elopement. Elopement means you love someone, <laughs> then for example you fall in love with a, a lady, then her parents say no, 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 then you take her, you run away. <laughs> That's love. Despite um, the parents saying hey, no. You just run away with her. <laughs> elopement, you call it you elopement. You just uh, make mm. my... <laughs> I'm very good bro, I have a creative imagination here. <laughs> I do have fertile imagination <laughs> in a creative mind. Me, saying that you have a fertile imagination with, in a creative in mind. In a creative mind. At, at least can you explain to us a little Meaning bit? that I'm very creative that wh when I sit alone I just have a pen and a paper and put something on paper and very good work. In very unique poetry. in poetry. Very unique words. I would like to know your mm. journey in poetry actually. When did you start? When did you start actually? Uh, I was in my country. Mm -hmm. Then I, I was listening to a song called Baby Baby I'm Back by Econ. Mm -hmm. So that, that song had the rhymes. I don't remember it but it had the rhymes. Then I said, hey, even me I can write a song, even writing a song like this. Mm -hmm. So I started this poetry that way. Okay. Even I knew that there were songs that I would go to study and sing, but one day I will be a singer, of course. You know, singing does not require a talent. Mm -hmm. Or oh, let me repeat, mm -hmm. singing does not require a talent only. What does it re require? It requires also money. You, mm -hmm. you might be having mm -hmm. a talent that can hit the whole world. Sure. But when you don't have money, you cannot go to a producer and tell him that I have a talent so which can hit the world. Obviously, they will ask for money. Of course. They will better give a chance to someone who has a, a talent that mm -hmm. can hit his village only. <laughs> eh? no, because let me... he has money. <laughs> so that's why for me, Wanda will be a singer. You will see. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. One day I will be a singer, you will see. No, maybe I would like to know that uh, maybe this one thing that uh, you think mm. when Betty Kello finds you, maybe, that what is this thing you are going to offer to Betty Kello? I will show you how my creativity, that I'm creative, mm -hmm. and I will tell her this. Mm -hmm. My pocket cannot date a beggar's daughter, but my mind can marry a princess. That means don't care about money. What I have here mm -hmm. can produce as much money as we want in the future. Mm -hmm. I will not to lie to her that I have a Range Rover, I have my uh -huh. but I will convince her that what I have in my head mm -hmm. will produce as much money as we want. I will be specific, I will not lie to her. It is so always impossible for ladies like Betty Kello and uh, other people, other ladies mm. there, mm. Uh, to, maybe to to find love to somebody who maybe don't have money, don't have cars. But what exactly? But what I know, mm -hmm. all ladies are not materialistic. There is a lady who can say for me, I need a man mm -hmm. who can give me pure love, mm -hmm. who can love me in print and prulo. Mm -hmm. That's all. They are there. So it's one of them. So in simple terms, maybe you believe that... Uh, She's not materialistic. Mm -hmm. This is what I believe. She wants someone who can love her in the print and What the exactly? What's the message do you have to Betty Kello right now? I will tell her that I... Uh, oh, let me tell her. Betty, I love you in the print and the plural. Mm -hmm. And my soul needs you, even if it's for hire. Please tell me what loving me does require. You and only is what I do admire. Mm-hmm.
Now, if Betty Kelo maybe denies you, mm. what action will you take next? At least let me meet her. Mm -hmm. She says no, mm -hmm. seeing her. Rather than imagining that she will say no. Mm -hmm. I have to approach her. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will have to approach her. Mm -hmm. I cannot imagine that she will tell me no. I must approach her. How prepared are you to approach her? See, you, you, now you are giving me an interview. She's going to know it because you are a media person. She's going to know it. Then she calls me with this number, mm -hmm. 0713 mm -hmm. 43 45 84. She calls me. She gives me an appointment. Mm -hmm. We sit and discuss and tell her that I love wine, print and print. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What I'm message? Good. Ah, okay. What mm. message do you have to maybe to Kenyans and uh, mostly ladies who are watching this video? Mm. I would like to tell them that oh, whoever see this message to help me in sharing it until it reaches, it reaches her because she's a celebrity, she's ever busy, but I'm very sure with people support they can share, share until it reaches her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you are maybe you are, you are once, where can people find you? Ah, you have, uh, by the way, <laughs> my... In my social media, I use this name. Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme. Rhyme. Everywhere. Mr. Rhyme. YouTube, mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. everywhere, even, even TikTok. Mr. Uh, Rhyme. Even, even this, this piece is there, is on my YouTube channel. Oh. Uh, this piece, yeah, you it's are going to watch there. it. Yeah, it's already there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, find him on all social media platforms at uh, Mr. Rhyme. And I go by the name Copable, of course. Thank you so much for watching this, uh, for watching this video actually and uh, I'm just reminding you if in, it's your first time to come across this video, make sure you join this family by subscribing and turn on that notification bell. Itakuina mana kwamba you will be notified once I upload a video being among the top, among the best or rather among the first people. Watch next guys, let's meet on the next video. Right now it's a goodbye. Thank you.